Hey there everyone, Angry here with a different kind of video. Uh, I'm joined with a friend here uh, as we are looking at the latest um, preview update, I guess we could call it, for Railroads Online. Um, now, full disclosure, it it's not great. Uh, it uh, It is not great at all. And as someone who used to play this game a lot, I just needed to share my feelings on this and get someone else's to weigh in, because some shit in this is kind of bad. <laughs> so um, we're going to show off these images here and just uh, talk about them, because it's not fantastic. So with that said, we're going to look at the, uh, the first thing here, which is their new UI that they have for... Um, driving trains and dude like the old Re one that they had like when they first started to be frank was fine it was not perfect but it did the job yeah we've uh, we've progressed from you know 1990s UI to er, mid 2000s yeah like I get what they're trying to do they're trying to be like oh look it's actually kind of like the real thing and, like, looking at the regulator and the brake valves and that, like, okay, yeah, it kind of looks cool, but it just looks cheesy. Plus, depending on where you are, you can't read the percentage marks when you're on a map. Like, Oh, my God. Why is the whistle in the top right? That's the other thing. Like, what? keep everything down at the it's same level. That. Like, like it, it's not hard, people. And... Yeah, the whistle's at the very top right, so it's not close to anything. Then, like, you've got a miles per hour gauge, which, again, in principle, is a decent thing to have. But first off, how are you going to expect any of your narrow gauge steam locomotives to get really past 30 or 40 miles an hour at any point? So why are you including it to go up to 80 unless you're doing it just for shits and giggles? Like, uh, it's, for, it's for when you throw it off a cliff. Yeah. That's, like, the or, only reason. Or the physics breaks. Yeah. And then you gotta look, like, like your water level, your sand level, and your fuel level. It, like, what the absolute crap. Does it, does it say the water is 110 degrees Fahrenheit? It does. It That's says it's not... 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Not centigrade, which would be appropriate for boiling water. Barely. It is 110 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is... It's a hot tub. It's a hot tub. And your fire's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And is that a toggle on-off switch for the bell in the center of the gauge? Where? Oh Look. my god. Why? It's a switch. It's an electric switch. Didn't Why is it an electric you're... switch for Did a you know pull cord? Didn't you know the narrow gauge had electric uh, bells? Yes. You know, they have E-bells off of SD-70s. Exactly. <sighs> like, oh, there's like a weird one for the sanders. Yeah, the sander one, that should be a lever. It's not a toggle on-off switch. Yeah, it's a little air valve. Yeah. So that's stupid. And then you're looking at your air gauges. They don't have accurate working air. The way the game works right now is you just have to throw it all the way on and hopefully it works. So it just is for looking pretty. It doesn't do anything. And there's no reservoir on your train. The way they've modeled it is just freaking on all the way or not on at all. Hey, what's the... Uh... Also, who turns their compressor on to 50%? I mean, you do for a lot. You do it like cracked to start it up and warm it up until you get it like air in there. By the way, for those of you that don't know who... I am. I'm not going to tell you, but I work on steam trains. Yeah. Um, and other very large steam systems. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you you start you crack it open and let it slowly start. And once it has back pressure and then you shut the drain cocks on it, then you just crank it and then you soft seat it. Yeah. So. Um, also, what's the thing to the left of the boiler gauge? Um. Yeah, that. What the hell is that? It is that a is that a ball valve? icon i think it is with, with like the old school frankenstein switch it looks like it yeah oh my is that for the, the dynamo maybe i maybe or is that I, for air compressor 
No, compressor is above air. Oh, yeah, so you're right. It's, it's a slider. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that's either dynamo. Maybe it's a blowdown? No, because they don't model the... Well, hmm. Maybe they're adding it? Because this, this isn't in the game yet. I mean... Yeah. I mean, Century of Steam showed a blowdown, so maybe... Maybe they're trying to copy. Yeah, we're pretty sure they're just trying to copy what, what has been showed off at Century of Steam. So this is like... Like, oh, overall, like... They're trying to make it look pretty, but it's really dumb in its design. And there's a lot of little shit that really should have been thought through better. Wait. The pilot. The pilot. Hold on, let's look oh. at the pilot. Uh, that's a knuckle. Coupler.png. Yeah, that's a knuckle that is sticking out and blending in with um, a very long pilot. So, first off, any engine with a knuckle would not have that pilot. Like, it would have a switching pilot or it would have a much shallower or much steeper, I guess, uh, pilot. So that way that works. So it literally looks like they saw what Century of Steam was doing with the pilot That's... and just were like, we have knuckle couplers too, and didn't think it through. And it is a split coupler. Like, I could at least acknowledge that they got the spit coupler so it could do like it pin or knuckles yeah but then they also said that you could only do one or the other yeah like in their uh, the goku over 9000 that you can toggle it and it'll just change everything in your save file yeah but you can't mix yeah it is uh that's not cool it <laughs> it just oh, looks also, dumb uh, cup, coupler cut lever dot dot not found yeah four. yeah so if you're gonna have a knuckle have a cut lever, and it's not modeled. At least not on the, uh, I think it's a class class 70 in game. Yeah. Yeah. So, a lot just to talk about in that one image. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Which, um, they now have said that they're going to have uh, essentially surveying tools to help you lay down your, your track. And, again, in principle... It's not a terrible idea, and I see what they were trying to go for, but I feel like, A, that should have been implemented a lot earlier than by this point, and, like, the, what do they call it, a Theodolite? I'm pretty sure that's what it, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the other, yeah, the other thing is, like, uh, why you need, would like, you use it if you can't you need, terraform the ground? Yeah, you need surveying sticks. Yeah. Also, for, like, along the track. To, or plan route to be like, you know, up here, down here, more fill here, less fill here. Cut. Oh, wait, we can't do cuts. Yeah, we can't do cuts. We can't terraform any of the terrain. You just have to follow what's already baked into the game. Like, it just seems like a cheap attempt to try and be like, look, we can help you plan your route better. But no, you can't. No. So yeah, again, I get what they're trying to go for, but given the limitations of the game, it's not really going to help you. And, you know, I guess you could use it for laying a rough idea for your route, but at the end of the day, you can't adjust what's already baked into the game. So, let's move on to the next image. So, first off, I want to take a look at the um, the tender. Because I'm pretty sure that's splitting a switch. Oh my god, is it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's splitting a switch. Is this a feature or a bug? Yeah, I don't know. So this is their new four four oh sorry four six zero that they are teasing, which they've only been the whole community's been like, can we finally get something other than a two eight zero? And they're like, haha, but there's so many two eight zeros out there. Why would you want anything else? And I think enough people finally like commented in enough native reviews that they finally did. The paint scheme on it looks really dirty. It's definitely a Baldwin styling. I'm, I'm, I'll give them a little credit, aside from that it's dirty. Uh, I actually kind of like the paint scheme. The one and two driver spacing looks a little off. Yeah, it looks know, a little too close. I know I'm it is supposed sure, to be, but I'm I'm pretty this look. I'm pretty sure this is pre rebuild one sixty eight because that's what they showed earlier. Okay, I think she got different diameter drivers in during her rebuild, mm -hmm. or at least tires, so that might have changed the perception. Okay, maybe that, I'm gonna give I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. Okay, so next thing I want to point out: look by the cab. There's a dynamo. <laughs> Look at the front. Uh, that's an oil headlight. Is that oil or kerosene? But it I, doesn't matter. Either oil or kerosene. It doesn't matter. 
you don't have one with the other. Like, you either have to have an electric headlight with a dynamo, or you just have no dynamo and an oil or kerosene headlamp. Why? That just seems like an oversight. If you're doing research on your trains, you got to know what the hell they are. And uh, once again, let's turn our attention to the pilot. Look at that knuckle. Mm. That uh, that appears to be sticking out quite a ways. Yeah, Bluetooth like, couplers again. Exactly. Bluetooth coupler. Pilot should be either a switching pilot, so no uh, no long, or needs to be a lot you know, sharper of an angle. That way it could work with a knuckle. <sighs> Once again, it just seems like, like, oh yeah, we saw that somewhere else. Let's, uh, let's try it. And that it's there, and it looks like dirt. You have anything else to add on this one? No, you pretty well covered it. Yeah. It, again, it's just like, like Railroads Online had such potential to be a great game, and then it wasn't. Everything they've been doing lately is just like either trying to play catch up to what COS has been showing off, or just seems like a cop out for oh we thought about this feature let's install it. So let's look at the next thing here, which is uh, something that the community has been asking for for a long, long time which was an actual roundhouse where you don't have to just fudge your way around it. Okay, I will give them credit. It kind of looks like the Como roundhouse, but I think um, I think someone figured out that it's like a Train Z asset that they've ported over. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Like, I don't know. I, I know the Train Z asset they're talking about, and that one's only three stalls, so maybe they added a stall. Yeah, maybe they modded it or did something. I, I think they probably modeled it themselves, but they kind of base it off that yeah you you know looked at someone else's homework yeah and then they also tease the fact that uh hey we finally got you a bigger turntable for your bigger equipment but uh if you haven't noticed that still has the pilot sticking way over i mean that's technically allowed technically but it just seems like if you're gonna have bigger power you would have a bigger turntable to accommodate it like it <laughs> It just seems like you could have gone a little bit further, and then if you were eventually going to have bigger power, you'd be more than covered. But it's just like another small step, but the payoff's not really there. But I do appreciate the fact that they actually have, um, you know, groundwork around everything. Wait, wait, wait but... zoom in on the... Okay, look look at the track going into the roundhouse. Look at the track on the right, and then look at the track on the left. That one's got the ties. It's buried in, you know, the ties are actually in the ballast. Like yeah. It's supposed to be. And there's like lighter profile rail. And then look at the track that's laid up to the turntable. Huh. Uh, that, uh... Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, uh, did you notice that the, the 125 ha- isn't turned on the turntable? It's just... Straight through. Well, it's just straight through. So that doesn't mean it's fixed. But we'll Yeah. See. I mean, just, I mean, theoretically, you can change that by just changing hitboxes. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the same issue that Railroader has with the Burke. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen a modder do it with the Burke. So, I mean, yeah. Theoretically, they, you know, they could do it if they're the devs pretty easily. Yeah. And then, um, I think we have to show off the last image here. And this one is the one I personally am laughing at the most. Look at the couplers. <laughs> that's like uh you got a, like a child's toy and you shoved it in where something else should be like that's not how couplers work there boyo five-year-old me gluing the uh couplers into my thomas models pretty much that's what it is like again you could either have liquid pin or you should have knuckle and that should be an option that you use when you purchase it but what the absolute fuck were they thinking? Because... I, think it's just that, I mean, I, you know what? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. This might just be like a test to make sure that the code for like automatic knuckles works. Mm-hmm. But you would think Maybe. that if you're showing off an asset to the community to try to get them excited about your update, you would at least do the work to replace the asset if you've already tested it so that way you don't have both. Wait. Wait, was this like public release? Or yes. Was this, a this is a public release as an update of it's coming in a week or so. Oh. Yeah. I was, tr- I was trying I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Wait. Zoom in on the Ruby Basin. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do you see the, the spacing between that and the It's cars? huge. <laughs> what? It's huge. 
What? <laughs> so, if that's the I, spacing you have with Knuckles, I'm no, I don't, I don't, I don't think the last two are at least the the, the Ruby base into the car might be. Yeah, I don't know. It's not moving. It's stopped because the smoke's going up straight. And I yeah. think they have that modeled correctly. If it's a knuckle, it would be a hell of a lot closer. If it was a draw bar for like a pin, I could understand that a little bit more. But that just seems not, not on the back of that thing. Not on the yeah. back of a tank engine. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ruby Basin. No, Ruby Basin has a pilot on the back. But it's right? a small pilot. Yeah, it's a very yeah, like you can. It's pretty like steeply angled. Yeah. For a Lincoln pin. So. Yeah, just at the end of the day, it just looks like they're like we want to try to do these things. And then you half-ass the entire thing. And there's a reason why Railroads Online has become a laughing stock in the, you know, railroad community. Like, so, you know what I would have done? Like, so those little, like, shirt, those little fucking, the little, I guess you want to call them air quotes plantation cars mm-hmm. they have. Like, just have the stock porter have Lincoln Pin and have the air quotes plantation cars also be Lincoln Pin as your cheap starting stuff. And then have the big equipment have the option for knuckles. Yeah. There, there you go. Yeah, don't fix everything you have to just then be, you know, oh, you could do both. Have a progression system. Have a roadmap or something that allows you to do both. But in a smart, streamlined way that actually makes it feel like you're expanding and doing your shit. So, I don't know. At the end of the day... It just looks like, once again, Railroads Online is trying to do stuff that they don't really know how to do, or if they do know how to do it, they're not doing it well. They're just rushing out a product. Uh, if people are asking if I will be playing this, I probably will like jump in one day just for morbid curiosity, but I don't plan on recording a video in it. <laughs> I don't plan on like really spending time in it, because it just looks bad. And I really wish that the game had turned out differently where, you know, you could have much better implemented things because it had the potential to do that. But now it's just not the case. You know, the thing for me is like even though Railroader has its faults, they at least appear to be trying. Yes. But also because it's just a Unity game, uh, you can just use mod Unity Mod Manager and either add modded engines or you know the the whole memory leak thing that railroader kind of just shits itself with yep a modder fixed that so like yeah railroader hasn't fixed it yet but uh they made it open enough a modder could and there's no ability to do that in railroads online yeah we don't have railroads online extended anymore yeah that was yeah that was essentially a virus to make it work yeah but it was almost like a necessary virus to make it work and, you know, boo to you if you wanted to try and use the uh, the Class 125 when it came out and you were starting a fresh map. You either had to use Extended or you were working your butt off to try to get to that point. And I know a lot of people got frustrated with that, especially once they announced that it was going to be, you know, discontinued. So, mm-hmm. all in all, right now, Railroader's the best trained game on the market. Uh, we're actively looking forward to Century of Steam can't wait for it it'll looks a lot better and it looks like they really care about their game so it's going to be cool to see what they do but and if and if they mess it up we're going to rip them apart too yep no one is safe from the angry rant and with that angry rant over we'll see you next time bye bye